Hi everyone. If you want to learn web development, then the programming language that you must learn is JavaScript. In this video, I'm going to take you from the basics all the way to the advanced, covering all of the buzzwords that you need to know in order to become a confident JavaScript developer. You can also find a copy of this roadmap in the description box below, along with tons of different resources that you can use to learn JavaScript for free. So let's start with the basics. In this section, I have put topics that usually anyone learns when they are first learning programming, be it with JavaScript or be it with any other programming language. So these topics remain more or less the same in different programming languages and they generally form the basics or the foundations of learning to code. If you're completely new to programming, then maybe none of it will make sense to you. But if you already know a programming language, this will be fairly easy for you to understand. So starting with the basic syntax and structure, then you have the different operators available to you in JavaScript, along with the different control structures, which are your if else statements and your switch statements. Then you also have loops and functions, as well as arrays, objects and errors. So if you're coming from a programming background already, you already know a programming language, then one resource that I recommend for you to pick up the basics of JavaScript is Code Academy. I personally like their courses as well and have taken them throughout my university years. I personally love Code Academy because these are text based as well as interactive lessons. So you learn from the text and apply your learnings directly at the same time in the code editor that they've provided you. So I feel like this is the fastest way to learn the basics at least. Then moving on to JavaScript fundamentals. In this section, I've listed down topics that are fundamental to JavaScript, but things that you may not expect other programming languages to have. So these topics are very javascript -y topics, starting with let versus const versus var. So JavaScript has three keywords that let you create variables, understanding the difference between these three. Then you have truthy and falsy values. In other programming languages, you have booleans, true and false. In JavaScript, every value is either a truthy value or a falsy value. Then you also have short circuit evaluation. This concept may be used in other programming languages as well. Then we have type equality and type coercion. This is a very important topic and is also the root of a lot of bugs if you don't understand how types work in JavaScript. Then you have pass by value and pass by reference. Again, this is a very crucial topic. If you don't understand this, then you are going to end up scratching your head and wondering why things are not working as expected. Then you have auto boxing and primitive wrapper objects, as well as learning some advanced array methods. So I'm talking about higher order array methods here, like for each map filter and reduce. Talking about where you can learn these topics from. So I pretty much have videos on most of these topics in this section. Otherwise, you can also search for these topics yourself on YouTube or on Google. And if you want to practice these concepts, I also have a GitHub repository where I've posted several JavaScript exercises along with their solutions. You can check it out using the link in description. Moving on to the next section about advanced functions and objects. This includes stuff like function hoisting immediately invoked function expressions, closures, callback functions, constructor functions, objects, prototypes, classes, and inheritance. And then also learning about how functional programming as well as object-oriented programming works in JavaScript. Let's move on to the next section, which is modern JavaScript. But what is modern JavaScript? In order to understand what someone means when they say modern JavaScript, you need to understand the term ECMAScript. In short, ECMAScript is basically a standard on which JavaScript is based. So every year, some new features come into JavaScript and some older features get deprecated. But they're just not used as frequently anymore. When we say modern JavaScript, this refers to ES6 plus versions of JavaScript. So these include data structures like sets, maps, begins, symbols, and a few other JavaScript features that are used in daily programming in the professional world as well, like spread and the rest operator, destructuring, nullish coalescing operator, optional chaining, arrow functions, modules, etc. Then talking about a few advanced modern JavaScript features, we have iterators, generators, proxy, and reflect. Next, let's move on to asynchronous programming with JavaScript. This section is probably one of the trickier sections and a little bit more theoretical as well. But asynchronous programming is generally asked in interviews a lot. So make sure you understand everything properly in this section. So these are the topics that you need to cover in asynchronous programming with JavaScript, starting with understanding the difference between what it means to be synchronous and what it means to be asynchronous. Then you have the JavaScript engine and the JavaScript environment and what roles do they play in asynchronous and synchronous programming. Then you have timers, call stack, event loop, task queue, micro task queue, promises and async await. Now we've reached the deep dives section. This section is also very theoretical, but these topics will help you create a really solid 
developmental model of how JavaScript works. A few of the topics covered in this section is the execution context, the this keyword, static versus dynamic typing, overview of TypeScript, JIT compilation, and integrating JavaScript with other programming languages with the help of WebAssembly. And lastly, learning about memory management in JavaScript. You might feel like skipping these topics because you feel that they are just theoretical and they don't have a direct practical application. But I will highly suggest you not to do so because these topics will help you fill in the gaps in your knowledge and they will provide a deeper understanding of the things that you have already learned in the previous sections. Now the next section includes topics related to web development with JavaScript. In this you need to first understand what is client side, what is server side, so Node.js versus the browser. Then you have the global object, then learning about the DOM which is important if you want to do front-end development. Then you also have event propagation, event handling, form handling, web storage, service workers, web workers, web sockets and the different browser APIs and if you want to learn about the different Node.js APIs as well you can do it. But if we talk about Node.js, that will be a separate different roadmap in itself. Lastly, we have professional JavaScript. In this section, I've added topics that will help you transition from feeling like a junior developer to a mid-level developer. So here we have topics like JavaScript design patterns. We have advanced debugging techniques and the tools that you can use. Then you have best practices and code quality rules used by JavaScript developers in the professional world. Then you need to learn about unit testing JavaScript. This is an incredibly important topic if you are working in real life projects. And lastly, deploying your JavaScript applications. Hopefully along the way, you will be building several projects, mini projects, major projects that you will be deploying online somewhere to showcase to recruiters or to showcase to your friends or just to use by yourself. So there you go. That's the roadmap. I've tried to create this list as complete as possible, but I might still have missed a few topics out. Talking about the resources, unfortunately, there's not a single resource that covers all of them. Even I learned all of these things from multiple different resources. My favorite one and my go-to resource is MDN, Mozilla Developer Network Documentation. It is the most trustworthy as well as updated according to the latest JavaScript standards. Apart from that, you might end up using different articles or YouTube videos online. But I'm also trying to build a course of my own and trying to build a one-stop solution to learn everything about JavaScript. In my course, I've covered the JavaScript fundamentals, advanced functions and objects, modern JavaScript, asynchronous programming, and the deep dives section. The only prerequisite for my course is the basics section from this roadmap. If you're interested and want to learn more about my course, you can watch this video next.